Hello everybody, this is Evan Rogers coming at you with Negating Death Sentences, The Magic of Artimas. In case you're wondering why this microphone is so close to my mouth, it's so that you can hear me better. We cannot just use not. English, very convenient, we just use the word not and we make a sentence negative. I will not eat that. All right, Artimas is the, ver the verb du jour today, which is redundant because du jour means of the day. We've already discussed how to negate distal verbs. We changed the mas to masen. If you don't remember that, go see, I think it's like video three or something like that. We had many sentences that were X des in the last video, number five. And depending on what X was, we negate it differently. However, both use arimasu. Verbs don't use arimas always. Um, however, verbs ended in E adjective, a non adjective or a noun and they want to just say like something is something else, they will end in arimasu. And in English, we just use not like I just said. Uh, very convenient, very handy. That's one place where English beats the heck out of Japan. Nis, Japanese, I pronunciation good. Uh, and this picture is hilarious. It's apparently a book to help Japanese people learn phrases that are not common in English. Uh, if you want to get your picture up here, send it to me. All my contacts are at my website, evanseasyjapanese.com, where you can figure out every way to contact me and uh, sign up for daily email lessons. Speaking of which, go ahead and a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Let me know that you love me because I'm so sexy in my white shirt. Just got off work and I'm making a video even though it's 11 o'clock at night for you guys. The negative of des. Des is almost definitely a compound of de arimas. We talked about this in the previous verb and more. Um, de is a particle, which we haven't talked about yet, so sorry. Ignore that for now. Or rem remember it, but just, you know, don't worry about what a particle is. And arimas is a verb, so it's de plus arimas. In fact, de arimas has the same function as des. They're basically the same. Uh, de arimas is more common in writing uh and it's a little bit more formal but you know what else thus des isn't really a verb it's a compound that got slurred over centuries um however it is a verb because it came from de arimas but it's not because it's weird you know what i'm saying all right uh the negative of arimas is arimasen as we have learned Great. That was an exciting and abrupt ending to that <laughs> to this screen. Uh, let's go on to the next slide. Uh, the negative of des. So if des is de plus arimas, then the negative would be de arimasen. However, sorry, it's not. Uh, the reason being that we have to add a wa particle. I will be teaching wa in the future, but just for now, just know that wa exists there. And it's with a ha. Even that's a ha. Well, not when it's a particle. It's not. Don't worry. We get. We will get there. Just know that that ha is pronounced as wa, and that I will teach you more about it in the future. Just trust me, baby. Because des is a compound, we negate it specially by one separating the compound. So that means that it's not de ar, de arimas. It's de arimas, and then we're gonna input the necessary wa particle between de and arimas so de wa arimas sen because we're sorry we're doing the negative so de wa arimas sen and then we're going to negate the arimas to arimas and there's the negation i should have read this ahead of time but i'm a loser baby so why don't you love me the negative of des therefore is de wa arimas sen uh, a little bit stiff a little bit formal and yeah, and there, there's more forms of it, actually. So let's go on to the next slide. But wait, there's more. Poor Billy Mays, taken tragically from us from drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. You end up dead. Uh, Dewa Arimasen is annoying to say. It's just so dang long. So people have developed shorter versions, the same way that we say gonna instead of going to. Excuse me, good sir. I am going to go to the store. I'm gonna go to the store, right? We, we slur it. Uh, you'll find a mix of dewa turning to ja, arimasen turning, turning to nai des. We haven't talked much about nai, but it's the direct, not the distal, the direct negative form of arimas. Once again, we haven't talked about that. We'll get to it. Just trust me, that's a thing. 
And notice how if we make that negative, Arimasen turns into Nai Des. And how we're using Des to make Des negative. Like, Des turns into negative Dewa Arimasen. But we can turn Arimasen into Nai Des. And so we made Des negative by using Des. Welcome to language. The reason for that is actually that this is nigh. Every direct negative form of a verb is actually an e adjective. You don't need to know that, and I will talk to I will talk about that in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about me blinding with my bald head, but I love this. This is one of the best scenes in Dragon Ball. A surprise visit from Mr. Popo. <laughs> oh, Bulma. All right, now that we, let's talk about E adjectives. Okay, so up until now, we've just been making des negative. We're going to be using those negative deses with nouns and not adjectives, okay? That being said, now let's talk about E adjectives. As you might have noticed in the earlier lessons, E adjectives got their name because they end in E, and they're used to modify nouns. That's literally the definition of an E adjective. Uh, yeah, I mean... That's the definition of a, yeah, I'm repeating myself. When we put an E adjective in the complement role, that is, this is tasty, which is actually the sentence I used. I'm a brilliant man. Uh, for example, kore oishi desu, this is tasty. Notice how oishi is not, you might not realize this, but kore is a subject. The word oishi kind of mean is tasty. And you see how it's not going directly into kore from the left? Um, that's because we're using it like a compliment. Like this is tasty, not the tasty this. So a compliment sentence would be the pizza is tasty. Whereas if we call if we use um, tasty as an ad nominal, that means that we're using it to go directly into a noun. It would be the tasty pizza costs a lot of money. Something like that. Uh, when we're making an E adjective negative, we do not negate des, okay? And the reason for this is because des in an E adjective sentence like this one where it's a complement does not carry the meaning of is. Well, that's partly the reason. What we do need to use is use the infinitive of the E adjective. What the heck's an infinitive? That's why I chose that picture. She's screaming in terror that she has to learn what an infinitive is. It's actually pretty easy to understand. Um, so just hang on and it's going to make sense. What? The infinitive? What? what is that? Oh my God, I can't learn new words. Evan, why don't you just tell me what things are? Well, if you want to be able to talk about this stuff and teach it properly and have a pretty decent understanding of it, you got to learn these, <laughs> these weird words. I should probably bleep out the word that, that I just said. We'll see if I remember to do that. Infinitive is a linguistics word that is given to words that normally show time. For example, I will eat versus I ate. Both of those happen at different times. Uh, do you see how that works? Like tomorrow I will eat, yesterday I ate. So because those are future versus past tense, they happen at different times. The word verbs in English carry time. Uh, for example, okay, so for example, go. Okay, so I use the word go here. I will go, I went, I was going, I will have been going. All of those have time in them. Will go, future, past, went, was going. It was a past continuous action. Will have been going. The past tense continuous leading up to a future point that we're focusing on. Crazy time situations. However, if you think about the verb go in the sentence, I want to go or the sentence, or the future of that, I will want to go, or maybe yesterday I wanted to go. When you wanted to go, changed. However, going never changed its time. I want to go. Right now I want, and the thing that I want to do is to go. I will want to go. So in the future, I will want something. And the thing that I want is to go. Notice how go doesn't change its time at all. Want does, but not go. Does that make sense? Want is the verb and the infinitive is go. The to go, these are called two infinitives. 
So you see how go doesn't really change in the first in the first situation up here, go change time. Down here it didn't. Well, it's almost like it happens no matter what we do with without time. Infinitive. It's infinite in its time. That's why it's called an infinitive. That's where it gets its name, okay? So verbs like to go, to need, to dance, to love. Uh, those are all infinitives and they don't exist in time. Or they, they don't change time. It's, it's weird. The infinitive, it's way easier than it sounds. Uh, with E adjectives, all you have to do is change that last E to a coup. To create the infinitive of E adjectives, change the final E to a coup. That's, that's, that's it. I mean... Ooh. Uh, yeah, sorry for the huge letdown. Negative E adjectives. We're finally going to make some negative E adjectives. Remember I told you don't make des negative. What we're going to do is we're going to use the infinitive. To, so to negate an E adjective, that should be an un, not a E adjective, because in English we use the letter A or the word un before a vowel sound. Uh, we turn the E adjective to its infinitive, and then we add nai. So oishi e, oishi ku, then we add nai, oishi ku nai. Okay? Uh, nai is the direct style negative form of arimas. We haven't talked about this. And then to make the negative E adjective a distal style complement, that's when we end the sentence with it. Add des after nai. So do what we just did above, but add des after nai. Or um, use the distal form of nai, arimasen. So it would be something like oishiku nai des or oishiku arimasen. So one more time. Oishi, so let's go through the steps. Oishii, oishiku, oishiku nai. Or if we're going to go down to make it a compliment, oishii, oishiku, oishiku nai des. Or oishi, oishiku, oishiku arimasen. So because nai is the direct style negative of arimas, we don't need to do the nai des. We could just do oishiku arimasen. Uh, so the, oishiku arimasen isn't seen as often. It does exist, so don't act like I'm telling you it doesn't exist. It's just, you know, it's just a little bit less common than oishiku nai des, especially when speaking. Um, okay, cool. Let's keep on trucking. All right, we're going to throw some new vocab at you. We got sore. The thing by you, the listener. So the person I'm talking to, hi, you're the person I'm talking to. You're the listener. You're the second person in the conversation because, of course, I'm number one. That's actually a term, the second person. Uh, sore is by you almost always. There's a few meanings where it just means that. But here it means that thing by you, the, the listener. It's a noun, so it's a no nominal. Are is the thing that's not near me. It's not the thing that's near you. It's a thing that's away from from both of us. So it's a third person. The thing that's away from the both of us. It's a no noun. Uh, sorry, it's a no nominal. It's a noun. Uh, we got some e adjectives. Takai. Takai. Uh, it's expensive or it's a tall thing. It can be both. Tall for things like a mountain or it's expensive like, I don't know, a steak dinner. Uh, it's a verbal. It's an e adjective. We could call it a verbal or we can call it an e adjective. Um, e adjective is more descriptive. Yasui, same thing. It means is cheap or is inexpensive. Uh, okay, we got some not adjectives. Uh, ski. This is kind of strange because ski doesn't quite translate the way we want it to. It's kind of like something is liked by me. Um, it kind of is best translated as like. However, notice it, it looks like a verb, but it's actually a not adjective. Same with kidai, is disliked, dislike. So when you don't like something, you it is kidai. Go ahead and pause this. Memorize those words. Um, if you don't know hiragana, katakana, memorize it now. I promise that I will... This will be the last time that I say what I'm about to say. Learn hiragana, katakana, or I will kill you! Gah! Yeah, you should know this by now, okay? We're in lesson six of this new series that I'm making. So learn hiragana, katakana, okay? Plenty of lessons on my website. Um, or if you can't find them, ask me. I'll happily send you all my lessons over Reddit or something like that. Uh, and also, Ratatouille is a great movie. Watch it. It's about the logos. 
All right, context is king. Another thing that's important to realize is that we're going to be getting sentences that come out of completely nowhere, and we have to kind of make up sub, you know, what the subject might be or what the what the context is. With proper context, sentences make a lot more sense. If we don't have context, we're kind of poking around in the dark. Japanese loves to leave words out. Uh, sorry, I don't know who illustrated this. It was a great picture. Um, it's cool, but if you don't know who those characters are. You can still appreciate what it is. So with context, I know exactly what's going on in this picture because I've read Dragon Ball a bajillion times. But if you have no idea what I'm talking about or what who these people are, you can still appreciate that it's a nice story. Just you're, you're missing some info, right? We have to do a little bit more guessing. All right. Here we go. Finally, we are going to negate nominals. And don't forget nominals means nouns and it means not adjectives. And we're going to clarify all these groups a little bit better in the future. But for now, this is how we're, I'm classifying them. We will change our classifications or add to them in the future. Okay, so green are our nominals. This pinkish purplish color are the dewas or the slurring of them. And if we have a brownish reddish color whatever this is, it's the subject, which is also a noun. It's always a noun. Subjects have to be nouns, almost by definition. Uh, and if they're not a noun, they have been nominalized from a different form. And then the blue is the form of Artimas that we are using. So it's going to be Naides or Artimasen, okay? So I'm color coding it to make it a little bit easier to see where everything's happening. I hope this helps. So here we have Kore dewa Artimasen. Kore dewa Artimasen. Whatever it is that we're talking about, it's not this. So, kore dewa arimasen. Are you talking about this? Mm-hmm. Kore dewa arimasen. This by me? No, not, not this thing that's by me. Okay, kantan. Uh, something is easy. Kantan janai desu. Huh? Kantan janai desu, yo. It's, 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 it's not easy, man. Whatever it is we're talking about, it's not easy. Kantan, easy. Ja, we're setting up for the negative. Nai, negative. Des, I'm being polite to you. Kantan janai desu, yo. I'm adding yo because just go with it. Well, I'll teach you later. Kantan Janaitis. It's not easy. It's not easy being green. Okay. You might have noticed that this sentence right here magically changed. That's because I realized they made a typo. Okay, so this is are. Pizza ja arimasen. Pizza ja arimasen. Pizza, are is the subject. Pizza is, we're talking about pizza. Ja. So pizza right here is the compliment. It's being used in a complimentary role, just like the rest of them that are green. Ja, we're setting up for negative. Arimasen, the distal... Um, negative form of arimas, so we're being polite and we're putting a social distance, social distance between our me and the speaker. Are that thing away from us? Are pizza ja arimasen? That away from the both of us is not pizza. That's not pizza. Okay, I don't know what I'm pointing at, but hopefully it's not pizza, and I'm not lying. <laughs> All right, so this should be subject, then we have a no nominal, then we have des, which is in the negative form. All right, kantan genitis. It's not easy, which is exactly the same as this sentence. Don't know why I have two of the exact same sentences. Let's change that. You might notice that this sentence just changed a little bit. That's because it's really late and I didn't notice it was different. So what I did was I switched it from ja to dewa to emphasize the fact that ja and dewa are basically the same thing. Kantan dewanitis. So this sentence, kantan devonitis and kantan janitis, mean the same thing, pretty much. Um, this one's a little bit more spoken. This is more likely to be spoken. This one's a little bit more likely to be written, perhaps, because dewa is a little bit more formal than ja. Or we might just be a little bit more polite. So kantan devonitis. Oh, kantan devonitis. It's not easy. It's not easy being green. Remember I made that joke? All right. Sore devonitis. Sore devonitis. It's not that thing near you. Sore, near you. The thing near you. Dewa, once again, setting up for the negative. Nai des, being polite, distal. Uh, it's not that thing near you. Ah, sore devonitis. Whatever it is we're talking about, it's not that thing near you. Kirai genitis. Hmm? Sore? Kirai genitis. I don't dislike it. The thing that we're talking about is not disliked. I don't dislike it. Kirai genitis, y'all. I don't, I, I don't dislike it. Something like that might be what we're saying. Akirai, uh, dislike. Janai, is not. De oh, is not. De so, Janai, des. Des makes it uh, distal and uh, polite. 
嫌いじゃないです。うん、嫌いじゃないですよ。I don't, I don't dislike it. What are you talking about? あれ、好きじゃありません。あれ、好きじゃありません。That thing over there, away from the both of us. 好き、I like it. じゃありません。I don't like it. That thing over there is liked. It isn't liked. That thing over there, I, it isn't liked by me. I don't like it. あれ、あれ好きじゃありません。That, I don't like. That over there, it isn't liked. So it's away from the both of us because it's alright. Kore genitis. Kore I'm not talking about this. So, Kore dewa arimasen and Kore genitis. Same sentence, same meaning. A little bit more formal, a little bit more written.、Uh, this is a little bit more likely to be spoken. A little bit less formal. Kore genitis. It's not this. So, these two sentences are the same. A little bit different flavor. All right, let's get to some E adjectives. Did I screw any of these up? We'll find out. Screw it. Yeah, yeah, yep.、Yeah. These are all completely. And I had to change all the definitions of these ones because apparently I didn't do that before I made the video. So here we go. Oishiku arimasen. This is a somewhat formal way of saying it's not tasty. Like I said, this is just less likely to exist. It still exists. So, you know, when I said it doesn't exist as often, I don't, that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It just means it's less common. Oishiku arimasen. It's not tasty. Oishi is tasty. Ku is the. Uh, is the、um, is,、uh, the infinitive and the arimasen makes it negative, polite, and distal. Muzukashiku nai des. Difficult, muzukashi, ku, the infinitive, nai, negative, des, formal, distal. And there's a complement role, so we use the des. These are both in the complement role, that's why there's nothing after them. Pizza, takaku arimasen. The pizza, it's not expensive. So, we're talking about pizza, it's not expensive. Takai, takaku, arimasen. It's not expensive. Are, yaskunai pizza dewa. Are, yaskunai pizza d e a r i m a s d e a r i m a s still means des, so that's totally a thing that exists.、Uh, notice how nai here is a form of arimas, it's just the negative arimasen. Notice how yaskunai is going into a, into a noun. This is the ad nominal usage, we'll talk about that later. So it's a pizza that is not tasty, and it, that is a pizza. That is not tasty. That's, oh, I'm sorry. Tasty. I'm sorry. Cheap. My brain's not working. It's late. Are, yaskunai pizza des. Or, are, yas, are, yaskunai pizza de arimas. That, it is a pizza that isn't cheap. There we go. My brain's working. Are you happy about that? That is a not cheap pizza. That is not cheap pizza. So, yaskunai is modifying pizza. Are is being modified by pizza de arimas. All right, let's jam up here. Sorry for my misspeaking. All of these translations are accurate.、Um, this one's just weirdly fonted. My bad. Oishikunai pizza des.、Uh, whatever it is we're talking about, we don't know. But it is des pizza. And what kind of pizza is it? It's pizza that is not tasty. Oishikunai pizza des. So here we're using a negative, once again, we're using a negative adjective to modify directly a, another noun. And this noun is. Is, being com- is the complement of whatever the subject is. So that over there, are, oishikunai pizza des. That is pizza that's not tasty. And this time I'm using tasty correctly. Oishi is tasty, and yasui down here is not tasty. It means,、uh, it means cheap. Kore t a k a k u n a i d e s Kore t a k a k u n a i d e s This, not, not expensive, or it could be not tall. I, use, I chose tall. That's fine. It, you know, maybe I'm talking about,、um, I don't know, what's something that's, t- my brain's not working, something that's tall that would be near me. I don't know, a, ma- a pile of dirt. Sure, it's not a tall pile of dirt. Kore t a k a k u n a i d e s So this is a subject, this thing that's near me, and it is not, and then we use the infinitive takai, takaku. This is not tall. So a m- amount of dirt near me,、oh, it's not tall. Oh, kore t a k a k u n a i d e s yo.、Uh, are? Yasku arimasen. Once again, we have a ku arimasen. Again, those totally do exist. They're just not as common as the nai des. You're going to be hearing nai des a lot more than ku arimasen.、Uh, are, the thing away from the both of us. Yasku arimasen. That over there is not, I'm being distal and polite, cheap. Are you proud of me? I got cheap right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kore, the thing by me. Oishiku nai des. It's not tasty. Man. These things, I use them 
They don't taste good. Evan, you're supposed to use them to clean your glasses. Uh, that's why they don't taste good. Kore, oishikunai desu. This isn't tasty. Yeah, it's because they're used to clean glasses. Kore, oishikunai desu. Kore, this thing by me, it is distal. It is not. So the na is not, and then the des is being used as sort of a, a distal polite form. But once again, this des doesn't necessarily mean is. It just means I'm being polite and uh, and or distal. Uh, kore, oishikunai. Oishikunai is where the is not exists. So I, I should have said that earlier. Takakunai is is not. Oishikunai is is not. Yasukunai is is not. Uh, Muskashikunai is is not uh, difficult. Uh, the des is here do not contain the word is in them. The e adjectives do. Um, I just belched. I'll have to go through and edit this one deeply because I made so many mistakes. And I hope that was awesome for all of you. Please, if you enjoy this video, thumb it up, subscribe, consider donation because I'm working my butt off even at 1130 with my babies crying late into the night because they're hungry because he's three weeks old. Um, you can donate through PayPal, donate through Patreon. Um, I don't think I have any patrons now, so I cry every night. Or, hey, Bitcoin, always accepted. Bitcoin, highly recommend buying some. Um, it's good stuff, but then again, I'm just some guy on the internet, so don't worry about it too much. Hey, I'm tired. You guys want to go to bed too. Uh, you can subscribe to email lessons on my website, so once I get them up, they will be subscribable too, and you'll be able to practice this daily through emails sent directly to you so you don't so you can't forget to practice that being said have yourselves a good day peace out guys and gals